hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to make uh, chana curry chana and potato curry so these are black chana and i boil them in salt water so the first step is to chop a big onion uh, into small pieces and i'm going to fry them in oil and um, i will add some dry spices as you can see i have uh, black peppercorns and jeera and I'll fry with the onions until the onions are golden brown. Now you can see the onions are becoming golden brown. At this point, I'm going to put in all the potatoes. The potatoes need to be fried from the outside, otherwise they become too soggy. So we will let the potatoes brown a little bit. And I'll show you the next step. So now the potatoes are frying nicely. Now I'm going to add the ginger garlic paste because it's important that we cook the ginger and garlic and saute it in oil before we add the um, tomatoes. So um, this brings a very nice aroma in the kitchen when the garlic hits the oil. As you can see, I don't use too much oil. I try to use as little as possible to make it more healthy. So now I'm going to add the turmeric powder. And chili powder. Chili powder is according to your taste. I don't like it too hot, so yeah. Um, you choose how spicy you want it. So now we want to stir this and let it cook for a few minutes. So now I'm going to add some salt. We already have salt in the boiled chana, so we don't want to overdo it. So yeah add salt and let that cook for a few minutes so now it's time to put all the tomatoes so it's very important to put the tomatoes after all the potatoes and the onions have cooked because once you add the moisture the texture changes Now I'm going to cover the pot and let it cook without adding any liquid. So now it's ready for the chana. So I'm going to pour all the boiled chickpeas. And it's a lot of liquid right now, but we'll boil it down so all the masala can mingle with each other and the potatoes will be cooked. Um, and so few minutes and I'll show you the final product so now our chickpea and potato curry is ready the potatoes have cooked thoroughly and the peas uh, chickpeas have cooked and the gravy we need this much of gravy um, so now the final product is ready with coriander on the top So yeah, I hope you like my recipe. I hope you will make it. I hope you will um, write comments and um, enjoy chana batata or chickpea potato curry. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.